<laughs> we are going to be uh, installing a medicine cabinet mirror and we've got a couple tools here that are going to help us do the job. We've got a stud finder because we need to find some studs to anchor it to. We've got our uh, impact driver here. We're going to need to put some screws in. Also, we have a light switch and a light here. So I have no idea what this is going to look like when we open up the wall. But we have this splice kit, in-wall splice kit. So if I have to move the wire out of the way, like let's say that this light switch is here and the wire that goes to the light is kind of like going through the stud and then straight up to the light like this, I'm going to have to get that wire out of my way so I can put the medicine cabinet in right here. So I'm going to have to send it up out of the way, which means I need more wire length. Those are the basic tools we'll need, but let's just get into the video. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is a plaster and lath wall just based on this is not like this is not finding anything. We're just gonna make a hole, a little hole so we can see what we're looking at, and then try to like get in get in there and uh, try to find that wire. What I'm gonna do is um, measure out for the medicine cabinet and draw a line um, and then see where I need to position it top to bottom, left to right <clears throat> for it to be centered. Uh, we're going to have to remove all these things. We're going to have to remove, maybe even remove this bottom, this top layer of tile here uh, just so we can set the unit in low enough so it's not going to hit um, you know, the light thing. Wire is coming over from the switch to the left, going up. So there is actually a stud right here. So we're gonna have to do some considerable um, amounts of repositioning things. So this unit is 20 inches wide, it is 26 inches tall. And I'm just gonna pull it out of this box to just double check to make sure the outside measurements are those. Uh, so that I'm getting the right size hole because the last thing you want to do is make your hole and then realize it has to be bigger. Our unit is 26 by 20, which is actually the, the measurements of the mirror. The mirror is bigger than the part of the unit that goes into the wall, so our hole is going to be a little bit smaller. So just when you're doing this, make sure you measure the unit itself for the portion that goes into the wall and not just trust the measurements they gave you for what the size is. So to find the middle, is what I'm doing is I'm measuring the width of this sink. It's about 25 inches wide. And so what I'm doing is I'm gonna put a mark at 12 and a half inches straight up from the sink. So that's the center where the sink is. And you can also look at where the um, actual spigot is mounted to kind of gauge where it's going to be. Here's our wire, so we've got to reroute that somehow. We're going to use these wire staples to get this wire out of the way. We're just going to tack it to the side here. We got it dry fitted. Um, look down here, we've got a gap um, because we're up on top of the tile. Up here, there's no gap because there's no tile. I have two options. One would be to 
um, cut the hole higher so that I can lift the unit up higher because right now I can't get it over top of that tile. Um, the other option would be to leave it hanging over the edge and then just caulk this side so that it kind of looks uniform. What I want to do is I'm going to put it in as is instead of raising the unit up because I have to cut through a whole lot more crap to raise the unit up. So I'm just going to leave it, screw it, just caulk it, and it'll look great. If you were doing this in a really premium you know, house, then you'd want to do it by raising it up. But in this rental, I'm going to do it as is. So. Our foam has finished curing, so we're just gonna cut off with a utility knife the excess here. We finished caulking, and if you uh, want the caulk line to match the wall color, you can always paint it when you're done. Um, but that is how you install a recessed medicine cabinet. Hope you liked it.